If you need any oranges, email me as well. I, but I, uh, black tie to, <laughs> black tie to a Scotsman means a kilt. You know, that's a formal dress for me. It's, it's a kilt. You know, the tartan, you know, plaid and tartan are kind of Scottish gang colours. It's true. It's like, it's like if the Crips and the Bloods wore sundresses. It's kind of like that. And it's true. Now, let's not tell you something. No one in Scotland agrees on anything. No uh, politics or religion or anything. But everyone agrees that kilts are cool, no matter what the event. Oh, you may laugh. But no, or you may not. You may do, do whatever the hell you like, but I'm telling you this, this is gospel. I stopped wearing kilts because they make women go crazy. It's, I'm telling you, too crazy has the same effect as alcohol and beads on someone. I, and listen, I'm not kidding, when you wear a kilt, if men acted the way women do when men wear kilts, we'd all be in jail. All that kind of, oh, what's underneath? Tell me underneath, what's that there? Unbelievable and slightly fabulous. I, I, used, I used to go out in my 20s. Uh, I used to go out with a leather jacket, and everyone in Glasgow would wear leather jackets, a uh, t shirt, a kilt, and a pair of Dr. Martin boots. You just walk around like that. And we used to call it result wear. If you can't get laid wearing that, you can't get laid. It's just, you can't. It's like everyone. At, everyone at weddings wears, uh, wears kilts, right? You don't have to be Scottish, lots of people do it. Um, I like, uh, it's like yarmulkes at a Jewish wedding. Everybody just, just wear it. At my last wedding to the ex-Mrs. Ferguson, uh, <laughs> you stay with me, you follow, to the ex-Mrs. Ferguson. <laughs> See, uh, we had both because uh, the ex-Mrs. Ferguson is Jewish. So we had kilts and yarmulkes. It's true, it was, it was a lovely event. Uh, it, strange, but lovely. So my son is both Scottish and Jewish. So he's uh, depressed, guilty, and twice as cautious with money. He's, he's very... That's the way he is. That's the way he is. I can say that. I can say it. It's okay. I checked. I, uh, Drew Carey, when I worked with Drew Carey, he once came up to me when, when I was you know, married at the time. He came up to me and he said, uh, what's it like to, to live in a Jewish-Scottish household? I said, uh, well, let's just say the pool isn't heated in the winter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not. I think, actually, America needs a national dress. You know, we need to have, you know, something that, you know, the Scots have ha got it, the, the French have got what they've got, the, you know, everybody's got their national... America, we don't have it. So maybe we should have a national dress, maybe a, a tracksuit, a fanny pack, and a big foam finger that says, we're number one. <laughs> We're number one. I also think like, we've got to have something. You know, I think school uniforms are a good idea too. I, I like school uniforms. It's sensible. It's a great equalizer. It means the rich kids can't show off with their expensive clothes. You know what I mean? Because I, I don't come from a rich family. I don't know if I've mentioned that. So I like, I like the. Uh, <laughs> I'm not bitter. I just don't come from a rich family. Um, but anyway, I, I like the school uniform. It, it leveled it out. I like school uniforms. Catholic school uniforms. Catholic schoolgirl uniforms. There. No, no. Get your mind out of the gutter. I, we'll have to edit this out. I can't say that about Catholic. Well, sir. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I've lost my train of thought. I. It's the uniform, not the... Oh, stop! Anyway, look, the, certain uniforms have got sexy connotations. They have. They just have. Uh, I mean, the French maid is a, you know, a sexy uniform. The nurse, the cop, the firefighter, you know. You don't get other uniforms not... So, it's for some people. For some... I'm not saying... For some people. I'm not saying... Sexy is sexy. You don't get some uniforms, not so sexy. Referee, astronaut, lunch lady, not so sexy. I tell you, the, the worst thing I've seen recently, in New York, I, uh, I was in the Soho district. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, was in, I was in Soho, and I saw guys walking around with a popped collar, the, the sports shirt with the, the collar turned up again. Now, cut that crap out right now. 
But that has got to tonight. Tonight. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. If you if your pajamas are popped, get it back down. A popped collar just says I'm a preppy bastard from an 80s movie. Get get, get done with it. It is a and it is a gateway drug. It is a gateway drug. It will lead to the sweater tied around the neck, which leads to the beret, which leads to the croissant for breakfast, and ultimately surrendering to the Germans. Yes, France, I mean you. Yes, I will not let it go. I, I don't know why. Yes. Oh, for God's sake. For God's sake, Craig, leave us alone. You're always going after us. Yes, well, I feel like I should go after you. Why are you speaking in a French accent too? I don't know, I feel like it. Are you mocking me? Maybe I am. <laughs> Quick, where did the Scottish guy go? I don't know, let's surrender to the Germans. Okay. I, uh... <laughs>